Hi everyone and welcome to Astas. Today is a big day for you Geraldine and you are from Virginia and you are a very good girl. Thank you so much for sending me a photograph with my your Gmail to show me all the components that you had and you wanted to put them into an arrangement. Now I couldn't get you any of these little croaker, any fresh crocuses because I'm in the wrong season but I did manage to get some artificial ones. I also couldn't get any ranunculus but I do have some artificial ones of those. I do have fresh carnations, I do have some vine and I do have some butterflies and I did find one of these. Right, you wanted it into an urn, so let us begin. Now, Virginia evidently, not Virginia, sorry, Geraldine, Geraldine is having a wedding and she wanted something that was a little whimsical with some spring flowers and some butterflies. I hope I've got you covered. Right, I've put a little bit of moss onto there and the next thing I will insert is the vine. Now I'll just put that vine into there, push that right down into there and then I'll bring that around to there and I'll bring it down the side um, Geraldine because it actually softens the edges of your container so just let that naturally just drape if it's still not going to move it's still moving just get in there and put a bit of wire on there or just turn it around like so so that it doesn't go away right the next thing is I've got the moss there you wanted something like this on the top of it I hope I'm on the right path so that there is going to govern how high I can go so looking at the carnations let's just say that that's about the height that I can go to so step these down this, well this is what I would do and I'm being very naughty because I'm snapping those off those carnations which is a bit naughty but never mind so we just step those down as if you're a fairy and you're walking up there and we tip see these here you can grow those in the ground. A bit of sand, a bit of potting mix, keep them nice and wet and they will grow in due course. Right, another one, we'll just bring another one of those down into there. Now as you go, you're going to have to check to make sure, ah yes, that's perfect, that the cage is going to go on the top of that and not squash those flowers. Right, I've got a couple of little crocuses, so I'm going to push those into there. Now if you're using uh, fresh crocuses, keep them on, their bo on the bulb and then just clean all the soil off and then just stick those into there that's my neighbor actually that's very busy emptying their rubbish bin so please just ignore that noise for it now right we'll push that into there like so and if it just moves around don't worry about it now the next thing to do is because I've got flowers around that side let's bring these carnations down and push those sometimes it's just a little bit difficult with the moss in there but that's okay I've got that covered and I'm just going to put one more into there now if you're using the ranunculus Right, push that right down into there. These could sort of be stuck in and around here, like so. And I think about now we need to check again to make sure that we haven't extended ourselves. Yes, we have, so I'm just going to take that out and I'm going to take that out as I go to make sure that everything's all in position. Right, I've got a little space there, so what I'll do now is let's start putting in some butterflies. I'll get my wire cutters. And what I did with these is I just got a piece of wire. These come, are the ones that look like this, the little butterflies. You can buy them at most stationery shops. Um, they come with, I'll show you what they look like. They really lovely wee butterflies, but they come with the stick on bit here. See that there? So just take that off. And what I did was I got a bit of wire and then just turned that up like that and got a little bit of glue. Oh, bit much glue and then just stick that down onto there and hold it for a few minutes until that sticks together and then you'll have these little butterflies that you can actually insert. Now you're going to have to be careful that you don't go too high and I need to check this one more time to see just how high I can go. Right I thought I'd like a butterfly into this. Very tricky when you're working and tight situations like this. Right that now can go onto there being very careful with because of course you'll be using fresh flowers. Right that can go onto there and then around here just bring 
some of those flowers. Where's that one? Now, perhaps I should cut them, which is what you're supposed to do, and I might be able to get my flowers to go in there much easier than what I am now. So I'll have a couple there, bring those down into there like so, and just ring those around the outside of the container so you've got life inside and life outside of this little cage. Now, I've broke that. You see, that's because I didn't do it properly. So we'll keep those as tight, as tight, as tight into there. Now, I did discover a really interesting little bit of... Uh, a legend not so long ago and that was about the carnations and um, according to legend as Mary walked her very long and arduous path to Calvary as she her tears fell it was the white carnations that fell, that came up as she wandered along that path interesting little story love all these wee bits of, of little stories that just all come to be now I thought I'd like a couple of butterflies on the outside so they can just get stuck into there like that. You could glue them to the outside if you wanted to but I don't want to glue anything onto this because I might just have to use this in due course for something else. Right, another butterfly can go into there, it can just rest into there so that it's like this little nature's captive moment. Right, some more of these can go into here because I've got them in the inside I need to put them on the outside and just putting those into little wee groups like I've done there so that you've got these little ups and downs. Another one round into here. I love these colours together and they're so springy. And if you're stuck with your designing and you're not quite sure what to do, stick with your greens and your creams. Right, I think that that will do. Another little butterfly round there. Sort of perch coming out like that and get a bit of move forget your movement just have your butterflies going in all sorts of ways and then that could just be pushed into there like that so that that's looking like it's coming up and if you wanted to that I'll use this yellow one here because it's got that wee sticky bit onto it I just put one onto there like that and I think I want one more yes I do I want this little one here so I'm just going to cut that off there just like that and I'll put that into there like that. There we have a little bit of captured nature. I hope this looks lovely at your wedding and I hope I've got you covered, Geraldine. Thanks for watching and I'll see you another day.